What's going on everybody? Top 10 Pokemon back and today we will be counting down the top 10 most expensive graded cards from the final Sword and Shield set Crown Zenith. Now I am super excited for this video because I have really taken a liking to Crown Zenith. I have opened up several ETBs and had a great time doing it, had some amazing pulls. So I'm really excited to see what kind of prices these graded cards are going for right at this moment. Now, as I always say, folks, these prices are not here to stay, okay? So depending on when you watch this video, the prices are probably gonna be a lot different as more and more of these graded cards hit the market. So just a little disclaimer there. Uh, these are the initial graded card prices and they're always gonna be higher, you know, when they first come out. Thank you so much community for your support and watching my videos. I appreciate it more than you know. So without further ado, let's get into this top 10 list, starting off with some Radiant Charizard. Now, we have the Radiant Charizard from Pokemon Go, and the Radiant Charizard from Crown Zenith. I'm liking the Radiant Charizard from Crown Zenith just a little bit more. What do you think? You agree? Anyhow, this Radiant Charizard has most recently sold an auction for $177.50. Radiant cards don't typically go for a whole lot, unless they have the name Charizard in it. This guy right here barely cracked the top 10 list. The number nine most expensive graded card sale in Crown Zenith is this Ryko V uh, that has sold an auction for $182.50. The legendary beasts are in this set and I do love each of their arts, although I do believe this Ryko V is the most expensive of the three and the number nine spot on our list today. Coming in number eight is our very first gold secret rare card in this origin form Palkia V-Star uh, that in PSA 10 has sold recently for $203.50. There are four gold secret rare cards in this set. This one right here is the most inexpensive of them, selling for just a little bit over $200. The number seven most expensive graded card sale is this Dark Ride V-Star. Now this is a card I actually pulled myself from an elite trainer box. It is a pretty awesome looking card. This week it sold for $202.50. I put this above the Origin Form Palkia because the shipping cost was more expensive for this particular sale. But anyhow, yeah, Dark Ride V-Star, number seven most expensive graded card in this set. The sixth most expensive and debatably the most popular card in Crown Zenith is this Full Art Secret Rare Pikachu that when it first hit the market as a PSA 10 was selling for about $515 but has more recently sold for about $216. So quite a decrease for this card in the past couple weeks as to be expected. It's a pretty awesome card though. It's got tons and tons of Pokemon in the background there. So I think it's definitely an awesome one in this set. The number six most expensive overall. Coming in number five is our very first Full Art Trainer card in Elisa's Sparkle. As a matter of fact, I think this might be the only Full Art Trainer to make the top 10 list, selling this past week for $235 as a Gem Mint 10. Trainers like Elisa, Cynthia, and Irida have been getting a lot of cards in these modern sets. This Elisa Sparkle right here is the number five most expensive in the entire set. Coming in at number four is our second Gold Secret Rare card in the Origin Form Dialga V-Star that had a recent sale of $265. Not a big fan of this card or really the Palkia V-Star. I kind of prefer the other two Gold Secret Rare cards more, but this one right here is the fourth most expensive. Getting down to the final three, we have my favorite of the Gold Secret Rare cards in Arceus V-Star. That in PSA 10 has sold most recently for $315. This is a very appropriate card for Arceus, just on the mountaintop there, front and center. I love it. Number three, most expensive. The second most expensive graded card in this entire set is the Giratina V-Star. That in PSA 10 has sold for $434, but a BGS 10 copy of this card has sold for $520. Now this card also has a BGS 10 black labeled example available on eBay. Nobody has purchased it yet. I think it's like, over $6,000, so I'm not sure if or when it will sell, uh, but when it does, I'm sure I'll include it in the Auctions of the Week recap. And of course, no top 10 list is complete without some honorable mentions. Let's review the rest of the Full Art Trainer cards. Here's a Friends in Hisui a Full Art Trainer that in PSA 10 sold for $96, and a Friends in Sinnoh sold for $81 this week. Here's a Full Art Irida only selling for $112.50. I would have thought this card had sold for more, uh, considering Irida is a pretty popular trainer, but 
Yeah, what are you gonna do? Here is a PSA 10 Cynthia's Ambition that sold for $115. And then we had a couple of Evolutions come by. Here's a Leafeon V-Star, sold for $85, while the Glaceon V-Star sold for a bit more at $134. Here is a Charizard V-Star card that sold for $117.50. And then here we had an Entei V that at one point sold for $305 but most recently was listed for $140 with a best offer accepted price of $130. Here we saw a CGC10 Deoxys VMAX that sold for $152. And then we saw this Full Art Mew in PSA 10 sell this week for $157.50. Here's a Hisuian Zoroark V-Star that sold for $158. And this Full Art Pikachu here sold for $160 this week. We saw a Simiseer V-Star sell for $162.50. And then this Suicune V, the most expensive of the three legendary beasts in the set, sold for $172.50 this week. Which brings me to the number one most expensive card in the set, and also my personal favorite, the Mewtwo V-Star. This card is a PSA 10, has most recently sold for $530. This is just an S tier card all the way, folks. Mewtwo in a heated battle with Charizard. What's not to love? This is the number one most expensive graded card in the entire set. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Give the video a like on your way out. Don't forget to be a subscriber if you're not already. Thanks again, folks. That's all I got for you. I'll catch you all in my next one.